Hello and welcome to Organizing Photos with Adobe Bridge. My name's Adam Pratt, and this is another Chaos to Memories training course. I normally offer much longer and more exhaustive courses about different aspects of preserving and organizing family photos. But in this short course, you're going to learn the basics of metadata and how to add it to your digital and scanned photos so they're easier to search and enjoy. As a professional photo organizer, I use Adobe Lightroom Classic for all my client projects. But for different reasons, some folks prefer to use Adobe Bridge, which is a free app from Adobe. Now, there's lots that you can do with Adobe Bridge that we're not going to cover in this course, but we will focus on some important basics of organizing photos with industry standard metadata and Adobe Bridge. So what exactly will we cover in this course? Well, after this course introduction, I'll answer six simple questions. First, what is metadata? Then, what's Adobe Bridge? The next question is, how do I get started? Then, how do you add metadata to your digital and scanned photos? And then, after you've added that metadata, how do you find your photos? And finally, what's next? So who is this course for? Well, I created this course for one of my clients who is having me scan her family photo archive, but she wants to add the metadata. She's organized, motivated, and has the time to tackle this project. But she wasn't ready to learn Adobe Lightroom Classic. And I thought to myself, I bet there are other people who would enjoy learning about this too. So I created this short course for her and for these other audiences in mind. One is the do-it-yourself audience, somebody who wants to tackle all or part of their photo organizing project themselves. Somebody who has a limited budget and wants to tackle the metadata part on their own. Somebody with spare time to tackle this project. One of the reasons I love Adobe Lightroom Classic is because it's so much faster, but it does require more learning. And finally, this is for the person who still wants to follow industry standard best practices so their photos have the best chance for staying organized for years and generations to come. So if you complete this course, what are you going to get? Well, you're going to get seven simple lessons, as I mentioned a moment ago. You're going to get instant and unlimited access to all of the content. And you're also going to get an intro to industry standards so you know you're tackling the project in a way that is durable and is going to last for the long term. And finally, you're going to get some practical steps to getting started on this important project. So you may be wondering, who's Adam? Who is your instructor and the voice behind the microphone? Well, I'm a software trainer and I have trained at companies and schools and universities around the world for over 20 years. Uh, I'm also a book author. I've authored several books about different uh, digital uh, workflows regarding uh, photography and web design and all sorts of different creative software. And I'm also a professional photo organizer. I'm the founder of Chaos to Memories, where we preserve and organize your digital photos, your physical photos, and videotapes. And then what we do with all of those family memories is we create a family photo archive that is sorted, searchable, shareable, and secure. Just last year, I organized more than 8 million photos for my clients. And those came from 905 different kinds of cameras and I saved my clients more than 12 terabytes of storage through deduplication and decluttering. This is what we're passionate about at Chaos to Memories. So whether you have us organize your photos or you do it yourself, I want to make sure you follow industry best practices so your photo memories can be enjoyed today, tomorrow, and for generations to come. I'm so glad you're here and I'll see you in the next lesson.